Hello my lovely friends. Welcome to my channel Creative Art. I am Nilima and today we are going to make these beautiful decoupage coasters. Today's video friends is specially for the beginners who want to do decoupage for the first time and that is one of the reason for this DIY we are going to use a beginner's kit. So I highly recommend you to use the decoupage coaster kit which is a DIY kit from Little Bird Itsy Bitsy and it is worth rupees just $2.99 and this box itself friends contain all the important things you will need to make such beautiful decoupage coasters. On one side of coaster we have placed the beautiful decoupage paper and on the next side we have done this beautiful shading using just gold neon and french rose color so i hope friends you will definitely like this video so please to watch the whole video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for my upcoming video in which we are going to make this beautiful decoupage art tray which is absolutely matching to our decoupage coasters all the materials needed to make this beautiful decoupage art are mentioned in the description box below with the links from where you can also buy them they are also shown in the video so enjoy this video now friends as today's video is for beginners so we are going to use a beginner's kit so this kit is my top suggestion which is a decoupage coaster kit from little bird itsy bitsy this is a diy kit do it yourself let's quickly check out what you get in this kit so first of all you get this kind of instruction manual if you are even unknown about the decoupage art and if you simply follow the four instruction steps you will be able to finally make this kind of decoupage coaster yourself. Next you get four coasters square size and two application sponge so this is the size of a coaster which is perfect. Okay so the next packet you get is this which contains three small bottles and it's written that they are 15 ml each this is deco magic matte and this is deco magic glossy so both are the decoupage glue okay so these two are decoupage glue and you also get decor varnish so this small kit is absolutely perfect for beginners other than that you can also use brushes if you like using brushes for application of a decoupage glue or varnish so you can use a brushes and if you like to use some color you can also add color in your kit other than that in the same kit you also get a decoupage paper and a decoupage napkin this is the exact paper you can see on the box so they give you the exact print and this is a napkin let's open it see this is a 12 into 12 inch napkin and it also have a very beautiful flowering design you can either use a, a decoupage napkin or you can also buy your own decoupage paper. When I was going through the website, I got this beautiful decoupage paper and it looks so fresh, bright and beautiful that I have to take it. So I bought this one and I also bought a tray with it. In my next video, we will be using the back side which is this decoupage paper for making our beautiful tray that would absolutely go with these beautiful coasters. So you get four sheets of decoupage paper of A4 size for just a rupees 75 so this is a very good deal if you're buying this kit and you also want some extra decoupage paper you should definitely buy this one so now i have everything out of the packet now friends our first step to do a decoupage art is always to start from the base and first of all we're going to give a base color to the decoupage coasters which should be absolutely matching to your decoupage paper or napkin if you're going to use a decoupage napkin you have to definitely use the base color of the napkin so that the napkin would look much more brighter on your base but if you're going to use a decoupage paper you can also skip this step because the decoupage paper is thick as compared to the napkin now First of all friends, I'm going to use a flat hair brush and start coloring the coaster from one side. 
Here I'm using a French rose acrylic paint from a little bird home decor collection. So I'll give it a complete base color with French rose. Then I'm going to use a little bit of neon pink in few parts and then a little bit of gold in few parts and just pull it in this way. Pull the colors in a random direction. This is how I want the back side of the coasters to be colored. I'll also color the sides. Okay, and I think this is perfect. This is how I want the back side of the coaster to look. For the front side, I'm going to give it a plain shade using the French rose color. Now let both the sides get dry. So in the same way friends, I have colored my rest of the three coasters and this is how they look. This part friends is actually going to be the another side of the decoupage and this is the part, the plain part which we are going to do decoupage. I just wanted the other side also be too useful and look beautiful. It's just simply like the cherry on the cake. So now we're going to start placing the decoupage on this part for that first of all you need to take out your decoupage select what part you need for your coasters take out one page and then just place it on the design you want to select and do some marking so that you can cut out the exact shape so this is the piece i have selected this one the next i want it to be this one let's see whether all the designs fit properly yes they all fit properly this too i want this one to be three so now i have exactly placed my coasters on the paper from where i want to cut it so as this is a square design so it would be very easy now using a pencil i'm going to just align the designs exactly accurately for my coasters lift one of them draw the next line lift this one okay i have got shape for two then the next one would be three coasters okay for the next coaster i have selected one more page let's do the marking and now after when you have marked the exact size the exact line using a scissor start cutting the decoupage okay keep the remaining so i think this one was it i'll keep the exact paper for the exact one let's do it for the next two this one is for this one perfect okay this one is for this one so now friends i have finally completed cutting all the pieces and they perfectly fit on the coasters so now we're going to place this deco page paper on the coasters using deco magic glue so this is a 15 ml bottle but this is more than enough for the four coasters you can also use the same for your other diys i'm going to take just a little bit of it in my palette and then Using a flat hair brush, I'm going to start applying the decoupage glue from one end to another in this way. So here you go. And then finally place the decoupage paper exactly on coaster as the exact shape. Okay, that's fine. And then friends, from the center, start stretching it using your fingers in this way. Start pressing the paper on the coasters in this way you have to do it from center to outwards center to outwards that will ensure that there are no bubbles inside the paper or glue okay so this is finally placed let's do the next one very simple just take the decoupage glue and start applying it on the coaster in this way Okay, so now it is done. Let's place the decoupage paper exactly on place. And then friends, from the center, start moving the paper 
in the outwards direction. That will ensure that there are no bubbles. This is smooth and perfect. There's one more remaining. Let's do it. Place the decoupage glue and then place the paper exactly. With your finger, start pressing it in this way. Okay, so now friends, we have finally completed placing all the four coasters on place and this is how they look so now we will let them get dry and then move on to our next step okay now after three hours the decoupage have got dried up completely and this is how they all look together we still have at least 10 ml of decoupage mat glue remaining in the same bottle so i will be using it for my next diy also so now friends just to give it a protective layer so now friends, just to give a protective layer, just an extra coating, I also like to use one more layer of the Deco Magic Gloss on the top of the Deco page. So now I'm going to pour it in my palette. And now using a flat hair brush, I'm going to give one more layer of Deco page Gloss Glue on the top. We'll do the same on all the coasters. It may take two to three hours to get dry. So using a flat hair brush, just give a layer of Deco Magic Gloss Glue. This step is a not a compulsion, friends, but I just like to give an extra protective layer on my Deco page paper or napkin so that it will last longer so in the same way friends i will be doing this part and then continue the next part after it gets dry now after two hours the deco magic gloss glue has also got dried up and you can see it has left the coaster with a very smooth finish and glossy look so this is what I wanted to give an extra coating of protection to the deco page. So now in our next step friends, we are going to give a final protection covering to our deco page coasters by using a decor varnish. This is the matte bottle. If you like, you can also buy the Little Bird Decor Varnish Gloss 100ml bottle. But with this pack, we have got the decoupage varnish matte version. So I'm going to use this one. So now I'll pour a little bit of quantity in my palette. And then using a flat hair brush, I'm going to place the varnish all over the coaster. I'm going to do it on the decoupage part first. Let this part get dry and then you have to cover all the sides of the coaster using the same varnish. And when the front part of the decoupage gets dry friends, you have to repeat the same step on the back side of the coaster. So let me show you that also once again. So this is the back side of the coaster. Use the varnish and give an even layer to the coaster. Now after an even layer friends, let them get dry. So in the same way friends, I'm going to varnish the decoupage side, let it get dry for 1 to 2 hours and then I'm also going to varnish the back side. If you're going to use these coasters in daily life, do try to apply 2 layers of varnish each after 1 to 2 hours so that these will be packed completely and the color will last long. So I'm going to do the same and show you how does they look, okay? So now friends, I have finally completed doing all the varnishing part and this is how beautiful our deco page coaster looks. So this is from the front side and this bright and beautiful coloring is from the back side. You can use any of the sides as front or back. That is your choice. I feel both the sides are beautiful. Whenever I want to place a brighter side, I can place this one. And whenever I want to place a beautiful side, I can easily place this one. So that is completely your choice because the varnish coating we have given to it will last longer and will keep the colors as they are. In the same way friends, in my next video, I will be showing you to make a matching tray 
to this beautiful coasters as we had the same decoupage napkin and I have also done the same shading on the borders of the tray which absolutely match our decoupage coasters. So friends do subscribe my channel and do tell me in the comments below how did you like my videos friends and if you do like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.